Larson, and this is Charlie Kassir. We're going to be exploring the effects of graffiti here on our school. Mount Hebron High School. Beautiful on the outside. On the inside, however, there lies a secret rotted to the core. Graffiti. Bathrooms, walls, the senior courtyard, murals. Some harmless, some left by teachers, some sticking it to the man. Some is informative. All is vandalism. Of these vandals, one reigns supreme, the Dutch man. With his mysterious insignia as our guide, we will finally put the legend of the Dutchman to rest. We interviewed Mr. Rule to get some background information on the history of Mount Hebron's graffiti. So what is your take on graffiti? Well, uh, obviously here on school grounds, I don't like graffiti. I don't think uh, people should be writing on things. And I would hope that the students at Mount Hebron take pride in their building, especially with us re renovating it and getting ready to really improve the entire facility, that they take pride in the, in the building and that they don't graffiti it up. So what are, the, what are some efforts that the administration has taken to combat graffiti? Well, you know, hoping to work with, uh, work with students again to emphasize the, the piece of having pride in their, in their facility and that kind of thing. And then um, also, you know, when we find it, make sure we eliminate what's there because I think when they tend to see graffiti on the walls, people then, if it stays there, they want to add more and add more. So try to remove it as we see it and uh, you know, work to find people who, who are doing the graffiti. Uh, they get you know, punishment for that uh, if we catch them. So is graffiti a contributing factor to the locking of the bathrooms? Uh, not usually. The only time I think we've, we've ended up locking the bathrooms in terms of graffiti has been uh, when it's been something that is offensive mm -hmm. um, and definitely inappropriate. Right. Um, then we've got to get it removed, so we'll lock the bathroom until we get it removed and once we do that. I think most of the time the bathrooms this year have been locked and been either for uh, a plumbing issue um, or um, with construction now, we've actually started locking bathrooms, such as the one by the auditorium. Do the words the Dutchman mean anything to you? Yes, uh, I'm familiar with the Dutchman. He uh, obviously is one person who does some graffiti around the building, and uh, you know, um, I'd like for them to stop. Um, just because, again, pride in the school, and, it, and it's not appropriate, but uh, yes. So, have you, have you ever graffitied before? No, I have not. That's have good. Not. Um, what do you think the appeal of graffiti is to the students? Well, I think, uh, you know, they look and they see a recognition or their signature on something and, you know, so they know they mark their territory, so to say, and uh, I think that's kind of, kind of the appeal there. And it's no surprise that the administration despises graffiti. Since the dawn of time, graffiti has been on the rise. It wasn't until Mount Heaven was founded, however, that significant increases were seen. And with this graffiti came a price. As time goes on, our beloved school's dignity drastically falls, infinitely approaching zero. We needed a lead and fast, so we took to the halls to feed off of the masses. What, what's your opinion on graffiti at the school? I think it's stupid and it ruins our school. It makes me a little bit uncomfortable when I do my business. I think it's very bad and we should find an end to it. So, oh, uh, guys, do you know who the Dutch man is? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No idea. The Dutch man? Oh, yeah. I, think I've heard it. I think I've seen it on the halls or something. Yeah. It's, it's, it's drug use involved or something. Really? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Um, in fact, when I was like five years old, my mother and his mother, they, it happens together like Clemens, right? In fact, his real name is Lawrence. Lawrence Patrick. Um, I don't know who the Dutchman is. I do know who the Dutch is. All right, so on color day, we went in the bathroom one time, and we knew there were some sophomores in there smoking, and then uh, we went in there, there's blue all over the walls, and the Dutchman symbol was on the soap dispensers. Are you the Dutchman? Yes. We're I'm the Dutchman. <laughs> but we should find him and put him to it. I have no comment on after hours of investigation, we have the culprit. We have masked him to conceal his identity. After long searching, we have finally found the Dutchman. For confirmation, are you the Dutchman? Yes. Um, so, why do you do the things that you do? Because it's fun. Um, do it. Uh, what does the Dutchman stand for? Dutch is a marijuana cigar, aka a blunt. And it's funny. That's right.
the, 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 the,